Good morning. Bertie Johnson's my name from the Lifeboat Fellowship down here at the Moy. Surviving parental sifting is the subject once again of our meeting this Wednesday evening at 8 o'clock. For the second night in succession, we're looking at the great woman from Shunem. You'll find her in 2 Kings chapter 4. Her only son who was playing and jumping around the barley harvest field in the morning was dead in her arms and on her knees at noon. Our message this Wednesday is entitled The Noonday That Turned Into Doomsday. The Noonday That Turned Into Doomsday. Light can turn into darkness very quick and joy can turn into sorrow very quickly too. One of the great tragedies and trials and siftings among any man or woman must be the death of their child. Surely this death must be compounded by the fact that there is no explanation given to it and also that the child was a special miracle child given by God. Now the question is, how does this lady handle this tragedy? Does she blame God? As Job's wife said, curse God and die. Does she challenge her husband for not being there whenever he died, as Mary did regarding our Lord Jesus over Lazarus, when she said, if thou wast been here our brother, my brother, would not have died. Does she do, what does she do? Does she do uh, a preparation for the burial of the child? No. She does none of those things whatsoever. She does what God expects us as believers to do, even though the tragedy is very severe. He expects us to go to him and go to his feet and stay there until the Lord shows us something from himself. Flee to the feet of Christ is what this lady did. And when she got there, eventually she got the answers. And so will you. Bring your Bible and come along on Wednesday evening and the Lord will minister to you. For he knoweth the way that we take. And when he has tried us, we shall come forth as gold. Amen. Thank you and God bless you.